Welcome back, world. Now this uh, video is a milestone here. So basically, what I mean, after you watch this video, hopefully you watched all the videos in order. Hopefully you did from the last one, or from a uh, from lesson zero to lesson whatever this one is. And um, basically, after you watch this video here and you understand what's going on here, you can. I don't want to say this. Uh, I don't know how. Basically, you can kind of skip videos here after this. You can basically kind of skip to whatever lesson or series of lessons you want here after this. Or you can just, you know, you can just skip the library lessons here because not everything is going to be building off the last here. Now, I do expect that, yeah, when I make these videos here, I'm going to assume that you have watched all the videos in order here. But if you're more of an experienced programmer now, or which, which, um, if you have watched all the videos here, you can kind of consider yourself. A more experienced programmer here, if you've been able to follow along and you understand what's going on, and you can kind of skip around here if you want to. You can skip to a topic of interest here, because not everything is as is as critical as is now, since you already got the basic while loop stuff down. You got the basic. If I mean, it's got you got all the basic uh, C, a lot of the C plus plus keywords down, the variable types here. Now the only thing I don't expect you, to, I basically have you expect you to have everything mastered except for some of the rules of scope here because we really haven't gone over that too much here and um, and we haven't gone over classes yet which is important we haven't even seen that we haven't even heard that word yet but um yeah uh, so uh, I still recommend that you watch still watch the videos in order here but you can kinda skip around here so let's get to the point Alright, so we're going to go over, I'm going to introduce you to a couple libraries. Now we've already seen the difference between the quotation marks and the angled brackets here. If you haven't watched the last video here, hopefully you have, I'm just going to explain this really quickly here. If you want a detailed explanation, watch the last video. So basically this angled, these uh, quotation marks here, if I put the IOStream library, which is a standard library in quotation marks here, the uh, compiler is going to search everywhere inside my project for this um, library here and then um, it'll take longer to find the, this library here okay now if I put angled brackets around here it's only going to search the location where all the standard libraries are found it's only going to search basically in here to where all the standard libraries are found and um does it now these folders here that we've we kind of seen that's been hanging there are actually fake folders. If we actually open up our project here, we we probably won't find these here. But they're here just to keep things more organized. So um, if I put this is a standard library here, so I'm going to put angled brackets here now. The angled brackets will only search in the position where all the standard libraries are found, which makes it faster for their compiler to find. Now here's my library that I made here. This is not a standard library here. It's my custom library. Which means if I put angled brackets around here and I attempt to run this here, I'm going to get a build error because when that when it sees this here, it's going to look through here and then um it can't compile it because it cannot find this library. It doesn't exist. So, that's why I have to put quotation marks around it here because this is not in the uh, the standard library folder. So I'm going to tell it to look everywhere, and then it'll find it here. And there it is, and it'll it'll run after that. If I just press play here, if I press build, it'll find it. <clears throat> okay. So that's what I'm going to go over today. We're going to go over a little bit on a uh, libraries here. Now here's this website here. I'm going to copy this and paste it into the link, into the uh, description bar below. So all you got to do is just click that link, and you can right-click and say open a new tab to follow along so you don't have to, to um, uh, stop watching the video just to look at this link. But okay, so basically this website has a couple different languages here. There's C++, there's some ancient languages, COBOL, Fortran, but we're just going to stay focused here and look at the C++ library here. And basically what I want to go over is the uh, I'm going to close this here basically um, I want to look at the um, 
C++ library header files here. So I'm going to open this book, little book here. Basically, this just shows you all the standard libraries here. There's there's C time that we've uh, used. Where's that? That's right here. And there's the IR stream that we've used here. And it's right here. And you can kind of open these up too. There's the IR stream here. There's I stream. There's there's all these standard libraries here. Now, if I open this one up here, we will see these functions here. Basically, we've been using the C out and C in here. And you can kind of click on them to see uh, examples. Sometimes. But basically, it just tells you what it does. And you can kind of look up your own libraries here. There's all these libraries here. I won't be able to go over all of them in these videos here. But I'm going to try to go over a couple things in a couple libraries here. And then you can kind of do your own research and look at all these libraries here. Now, there's also non standard libraries here. Now, in Visual C, here, there are also some non standard libraries that are included in here. But uh, all the compilers should have the standard libraries here. So if you're using Dev C++ or Code Blocks here, they should have all the standard libraries here. But you can make your own libraries here by making a header file. You can download libraries here. So if you wanted to download some uh, game development um, software here, you, there might you would download certain things and you'd include that into something here. You would type in whatever whatever codes here maybe uh, I don't know dark gdk dot whatever dot h and then you can use all those pr that pre-written code here and um, that's what these I'm, in the next video here I'm gonna go over the next couple videos here I'm gonna go over a couple libraries here over a couple things here just to take a break from functions here but I'll try to use a couple functions just to keep it refreshed here and we'll go you know and um but that's just one. I just wanted to let you know that there are there is many many different libraries here, and you can download a couple of them or whatever. They should the standard ones should be here. These are just the standard libraries here, and um, and you can kind of figure out what's in there. So that's basically it on these libraries here. I'm going to go over more of them. I'm actually going to go over a couple libraries here before we go over classes here but you can skip to the classes video if you want to but I might, I'm going to be using a couple of things in the libraries I'm about to show you here in future tutorials though so if you see some new syntax here and it's not quitely it's not quite explained too well um, you can assume it came from one of the libraries here so so um, that's what these libraries are so these are these libraries are uh, just basically a toolbox you know, um, if I want to print something to the screen, I'm going to have to grab a tool out of this toolbox here, such as the C and C, the C out statement. Now, if I want to um, do something with the time here, if I want to make a clock or make a countdown, or I want to take see how long it takes to execute a function here, I'm going to use the C stuff out of the side of the C time library here. So you can, if you want to go over to the C time, I don't know what lesson number it'll be, but basically if you see a library here, regardless of what the lesson is, you can just jump to that video. So, so um, just kind of ignore, if you when, I, when you see a library video, just kind of ignore what lesson number it is, because basically most of the time the prerequisites are, there are no prerequisites except that you understand everything from the last, from this video on back. And, um, that's it. So, hopefully, this was this made a little bit more sense here. We're going to go over libraries here, and um, this is a milestone. You can kind of skip around to whatever lesson you'd like. So, if if you want to if you want to learn about a library from lesson one million here, you can just skip to that, and you don't have to know everything from that. Or lesson a thousand here. If it's lesson one thousand, and there's a library file, you don't have to. Generally, you shouldn't, but I'm going to assume that you have watched all the previous videos, though, as I'm making these videos. So, that's it, and then um, we're going to make a library next. Or we're going to go over a few things in the in one of the libraries next.